tonight. Police are investigating what happened last night in an officer involved shooting. An Idaho Falls man was killed by a police officer who mistook him for a suspect they were looking for. Here's how police say it happened. And today, the truth that we have to share with you is, is difficult and quite tragic. It was shortly after midnight when Bonneville County Sheriff deputies attempted to make a traffic stop on a car traveling on First Street. Officers say when the driver pulled over, he got out and ran. The deputy who initiated the stop broadcasted the direction the suspect had fled and a description of the suspect clothing, which included a black shirt. Backup from Idaho Falls Police was called and the search began. While searching the area, a resident told police that they had seen the suspect running through their yard with a gun. Also while searching the area, an Idaho, an Idaho Falls police officer spoke with a different resident on the corner of Lincoln Drive and Syringa Drive. The officer spoke brief, briefly with the resident and informed him that the law enforcement officers were looking for a person that had fled from a traffic stop and that officers and deputies would be in the area for some time. Meanwhile, police interviewed the passenger and was able to identify the suspect. The man they were looking for had an outstanding warrant and a history of violence with police. The passenger in the car also shared messages of his phone to track the suspect's location. This led them to the backyard of a home where they found a man wearing a black shirt and holding a gun. We do not currently have the answers as to what exactly occurred during these moments. We do know that during this, this interaction, an Idaho Falls police officer discharged his service weapon, firing one shot which struck the man. But this man wasn't the suspect. He was a homeowner that officers had spoken to previously, warning him that they were searching for someone who might have a gun. I just want to make it clear that the person that was shot was not a suspect of any crime and was not the suspect that had fled and was not the suspect we were looking for. Officers attempted life-saving measures, but they were unsuccessful. Uh, there are not words to express how heavy our hearts are today. Uh, the situation is devastatingly tragic for all involved. Uh, it's tragic for the, the deceased and, and uh, his family and everyone that was involved. It's tragic for the officer that was in that situation and, and uh, did what he thought he needed to do and, and uh, the officer's family. It's just tragic for everyone that was involved in this. The suspect they were looking for was found moments later in another yard and was arrested. His name is not being released at this time and nor is the victim's name. The Eastern Idaho Critical Incident Task Force is investigating. Old Governor Brad